Okay, so in this video, we're going to enlarge the shower area. The first step, as you can see, is to remove the drip guard and the curtain from the window. Don't worry, you will still have your privacy. I haven't steered you wrong yet. Clean up all the adhesive with acetone and a razor blade. Do it carefully and slowly. Stick a piece of Velcro just under the countertop from side to side. Make sure to get it right up in there. I suggest a few staples to ensure a good long life. Oh, while I'm in this cabinet, let me tell you about this head lube I use. I get it at West Marine. It's expensive, but a little dollop into the bowl when you know you're not going to be using the head for a while keeps the seal rings and the flush mechanism lubricated. It's good stuff. Measure the distance under the vanity countertop fully from side to side. Now go cut the drip guard and some more Velcro to that length. Now grab the factory supplied waterproof window cover. Do not cut it, just hot glue the drip guard to the top edge of that cover as shown. Make sure to center the drip guard on the cover as you lay it into the hot glue. Now apply the Velcro to the back edge of the drip guard. This Velcro strip should be the opposite of the piece you already installed on the vanity. It's important to pay attention to which Velcro goes where. I refer to them as male and female sides. My son tells me, you know, Dad, it's called hook and loop. I just stared at him. Now here you see the first step in protecting the electrical outlet and the wood vanity. Curl the edges of the plastic curtain as you line up the drip guard for installation onto the Velcro. Now put the other piece of Velcro along the top of the window, right where the drip guard used to be. But then you know, I'm looking at it, something's not right. It looks like, who does it look like? Oh no. So back to the depot I go. I cannot ask you to put a big black strip of Velcro across your wall. That's just not right. Position the nice white Velcro just along the top edge of the window frame. Keeping an eye on centering it from left to right. Use the old curtain tracks that are still mounted as an eye guide. Now you can see the two uses for our new plastic curtain assembly. Use it to cover the window for privacy and use it to cover the vanity for a shower. You have to drill out one little rivet. Remove the factory shower curtain and store it away. We will not be using it. It clings to your wet body like seaweed. It's one of the big reasons I'm doing this project in the first place. That curtain never behaves. Now here's the shopping list of things you need to get from where? From the depot. Three rust-proof expandable shower spring rods. Two 40-inch wide shower liners. And lastly, a number of curtain clips you'll need per liner. I got rollers because I need to be quick. Let's ignore the new shower hose and shampoo dispenser. I got a little carried away at the depot, as I do almost every time. Okay, here we go, next step. Sling your curtain clips onto two of the rods and cut little Velcro circles for the ends of all three rods. See how the little Velcro circles are positioned on the wall? So when you jam your shower rod up in there and tighten it, the Velcro will lock it in place. Locate the rod as high up into the corner of the wall on each side of the shower room. Just be aware that the rolling curtain clips need to clear the old shower track on both sides. Now take the third shower rod and use it to push the shower curtain up against the wall. You see that outside wall of the shower room is not straight, so the shower curtain would hang down, encroaching on your precious shower area. We'll have no more encroaching in our shower. No more! Now here's where it gets a little tricky, but it really isn't hard. Just stop and think it through. I'll try to illustrate it here as best I can. I used a 2 inch wide metal straight edge as a guide for some overlap onto the counter surface. That overlap will serve as a drip edge. 
Mark your cut line from the end of the curtain to the lip of the countertop. Do not go past the lip of the countertop. Make a little cross mark there as a guide for you to stop the cut. So the green dotted line represents the edge of the curtain. Then you have the red cut line which goes from the green dotted edge all the way but not past the edge of the countertop. Then go in on the bottom of the curtain. Make a mark to cut the length of the curtain so that it ends just above the shower pan floor. Now lay your curtains on a flat surface and make the two cuts per curtain. Heavy on the ruler, light on the blade. Take another piece of that white Velcro and stick it to the front side of the drip guard. This will accept the liner tabs from each side and cover the assembly we made earlier. It's pretty simple once you understand the concept of how this all goes together. Cut the bottom off at a point where the curtain will hang nice. Then make that shortcut, taking care to stop the cut so it doesn't go past the countertop edge. We are going to put two strips of Velcro on each curtain. One is to hold the long edge against the wall and the other strip will allow the short cut to attach to the top edge of the vanity curtain assembly we made earlier. Remember how ambitious I was earlier? Well, I'm going to use that to your benefit. I can remove the bathroom faucet to give you a better view of the action. Be mindful of which Velcro to use, hook or loop, male or female, and also be aware of which side of the shower curtain to apply it to. I made this mistake and I can tell you it doesn't come off without destroying the curtain. That caused another trip to the depot. So now the shower room has been opened up, giving you plenty of elbow room to turn, sit, put your shower supplies on the counter, easily adjust the water. It's the way it should have always been. Nothing but bubbles and balloons.